It's actually uh, pretty heavy. So there we go guys, five inch straight pipe exhaust for the Cummins. And all I gotta do is paint it up first before I put it on. This is aluminized steel, not stainless steel. I tried to get stainless, but the people that were selling it stopped selling it for whatever reason. And I was trying to get it through this one company because it was the best price. So I ended up going aluminized steel. So I'm gonna have to paint it first because you know, aluminized isn't as good as stainless, but it's very controversial between the two. I mean, just look at that. My hand on that pipe is it's not even covering half of it. That is my arm. My arm is smaller than that. So look at that, man. I mean, let me get you a little close to it. It's it's looking pretty good. I, I looked at this tip, too, and I was like, oh, it's actually done pretty well. I'm not seeing any overspray on that, but yeah. Now, these two on the side still need to be flipped around, of course. I'm glad I was able to just stand these straight ones up so that way I could just paint them easier and not have to worry about it all the only thing I have to worry about those is the ends of course and then of course we got the clamps over here still gonna have to layer those a little bit more but they're looking pretty good so everything's coming together pretty well of course I don't have to worry about the metal shavings that were in there too much because it's all gonna blow out that's what they probably thought they don't they probably don't uh, take too much time in consideration with it because it's just exhaust but this is going to be amazing, man. I'm, I'm so excited for this. It's going to change the tone of the truck completely. Flipped over these two pipes right there, painted those up, but now, unfortunately, I'm out of paint. I just went through four cans of paint, actually. I underestimated how much paint I'm actually going to use. Didn't realize how big these pipes are and how much, how much area there is to cover. So we're going to head to Walmart now and pick up some more stuff. Let's get going. Man, just made it here to the Wally world. Hopefully they have the paint in stock. Damn, look at those rims. Here we go. So we're here at the paint and I realized that they made this clear high heat, I think. Unless this is just a random cap. It's pretty cool that they make a clear one now. And they also make red and orange, pretty cool, but we're going for the black. Hmm, maybe I should try that on the Silverado. Oh yeah, he's got a long box. Chevrolet is way above average when it comes to the problems per 100 vehicles chart, which that means it just doesn't have the amount of problems. back here at the scene of the crime we got more paint so i'm probably going to do a layer or two more and then honestly be done with it i honestly forgot how much i hate dealing with this stuff it honestly just smells bad i'm just going to do a layer or two more and then be done with it i mean i can see why people usually don't do this i don't see too many people doing it it's because it's just an awful job and it's just, just dealing with paint man <coughs> all right guys i think i'm done with the paint can't deal with this anymore so we got that hanger I think that's by the muffler, or at least the piping that's going to be where the muffler was. That's the double hanger there. Then we got that end pipe there. I think this is going to be probably under the truck, under the cab. Got all the clamps there painted up perfect. This is obviously the down pipe right at the turbo. It's probably just a straight through where the cab meets the bed. And this is going to be over the axle, the rear axle. This is probably just going to be an extension somewhere. So even though my truck is a crew cab, I might have to end up cutting some of this pipe because I don't have the 8-foot long bed, and I think this is for all applications. Regular cab, crew cab, long bed, 